I've been working on this for weeks. There's no way you're going to win. Trust me, I've come up with something extremely abstract. Let me see. Okay. Here. Wow, that's really um, different. I know. Let me see yours. No, I think it's clear that you've won today. You know I'm always okay with winning, but I still want to see your losing artwork. But it's embarrassing. Show me right now. Okay, fine. Addison, yours is so good. Yeah, but I think yours is better. Just don't lie to me. While we sort through this, let's get a guess that baby. Addison, I had no idea you could draw, but can you sing or play an instrument? Absolutely not. Are you sure? Positive. Come on. I'm not musical. There are tons of kids at our school that are really good singers. There are, and I'm not one of them. That wasn't my point, but okay. What was your point then? You just always seem stressed, especially before a big test. That has nothing to do with music. Actually, singing is proven to boost immune systems and reduce stress levels. Let's go to Dallas and learn more about how the arts help us in school in today's top story. Good night. Good night. Um, what are you doing? Parting is such sweet sorrow. What are you talking about? You told me the arts help us out in school, so I'm practicing my theater skills. Addison, you're a terrible actress. Romeo, Romeo. Just stop. Hey, I'm trying to be emotional. While I deal with this mess, let's go to the shark scoop. I can't believe you. I could have made it to Broadway. Keep telling yourself that. Fine. I'm a terrible actress. On that note, let's go to today's brain strain with Nate. So Addison, what did you learn today? As long as we're enriching our lives with the arts, we're on the right track. Because as we learned today, art, art makes, makes you smart. smart. I'm Addison. And I'm Jada. Have, have a great day, sharks. Good morning, I say. Good morning to you. She is Thing One, and I am Thing Two. TSC News is the name of our show. Now off to the hot topic we go. Our creator, Dr. Seuss, was a wonderful guy. He taught kids to read, he taught kids to try. Horton, the Lorax, and the Grinch are a few. Of characters he brought to life for you. To learn more about Seuss and his glory, here's the cat in the hat with today's top story. Now that we're back, it's that time in our show. To hear about school events, you should know. Don't turn away or you'll be out of the loop. Let's go to it now. It's called the Shark Scoop. What are you doing with that fish in a cup? Put it down, I say. Put it down, not up. He looks very sick and he's turning green. And how you are laughing at him, that's just plain mean. But laughter is good. It's healthy for you. And Dallas will tell you what I say is true. Healthy Helpings is the name of her show. So now, off we go. One plus one is two, you see. And one plus two is always three. It's not hard, it's not a strain. I'm sure Alex has more to work your brain. It's time for more fun. Oh, what should we do? I think it's time to involve all of you. Nate and Kiara will be lots of fun. We'll be back when Shark Shenanigans is done. Now we are sad, it's our time to go. We hope you enjoyed our special show. No matter the time or the place. Thing one and thing two will put a smile on your face. Next week we'll have funny topics on our news. With shows like that, there's no way you can snooze. Now we must go. Our time here is done. Signing off for today is Thing 2 and Thing 1. Good morning, Lake Gibson. I'm Addison. And I'm Jada. And we're very excited to bring you today's show from the brand new Lakeland Ice Arena. On today's show, Dallas is reporting on this exciting new skating spot in Lakeland. And Alex is showing us how the Tampa Bay Lightning is supporting this arena. Plus, Nate has today's school announcements in the Shark Scoop, and Luis is here with today's Brain Strain question. It's so cool that Lakeland is now home to this arena. It sure is, and Dallas will tell us all how it came to be in today's top story. Thanks, Dallas, for all of that great information. Now let's head over to Alex as he tells us how this arena is working in partnership with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Alex was so lucky to meet a Tampa Bay Lightning player. You know who else is lucky? Who? The Sharks, because we're headed over to TSC News reporter Nate Bath for today's school announcements. Thanks, Nate. So, Addison, are you ready to hit the ice? Of course I am. But what are the sharks going to do while we're skating? That's easy. They'll be solving the question of the day with Louisa in the brain strain. That was so much fun. You guys should definitely come out to the Lakeland Ice Arena to skate or play some hockey soon. And you definitely don't want to miss our shows next week on the history of the NBA and Valentine's Day. I'm Addison. And I'm Jada. Have, Have an, an icy weekend, weekend sharks. sharks. Hey Sharks, I'm Madison. And I'm Jada, and today we're at the Lakeland SPCA to learn more about their Renadog program. In today's show, Alex throws us a bone and tells us how to get involved with this special program in the top story. Nate has a classroom spotlight about the FFA members and their market hogs. 
and Dallas puts you on the spot in today's hot topic. Plus, Abby keeps us up to date with all the news in the shark scoop. I'm so excited we get to run a dog today. Me too, and I'm thrilled we get to let it interact with the world outside of the Adoption Center. Let's go to Alex and see what he's found out about this program unique to our Lakeland SPCA. Thanks, Alex. Now we know what this program is all about. Let's head over to Nate with the Classroom Spotlight to learn how life has been for students who are raising market hogs. Those pigs are so cute. Thinking of all those pigs in one place really makes me wonder how bad it smells. Yeah, I've been down there a couple times and it doesn't smell too great. Do you have any perfume in your backpack? I don't know. Let me check. How much stuff do you have in there? It seems like a lot, but I promise it's all for school. Have you heard the story about the kid who brought his family pet to school? I sure did, but I think Dallas is going to tell some more about it in the Hot Topic. Now it's time to go back to school where Abby's waiting. She has all of the important announcements in today's Shark Scoop. Now it's time for us to get our dog and take him down to Munn Park for a few hours of fun. Don't miss our shows next week about kindergarten memories, school bus safety, and Lakeland's best burgers. I'm Addison. And I'm Jada. Have, Have a great, great weekend, Sharks! Since we live in Florida, tropical storms and hurricanes are bound to happen without any warning. It's important to know what to do in order to keep yourself and others safe. There are certain steps you need to take to maintain your safety. Tune into Polk County's emergency broadcast stations. Make sure vehicles have fuel and have extra cash with you. Make sure phones are charged and bring any lightweight objects inside. If you have a boat, make sure to bring it close to the house or if it is in the water, check the mooring lines. Put important documents into a watertight container and check your battery operated radios. Prepare to cover windows, unplug major appliances, and fill your bathtub with water for cleaning. Now that you know some important steps to preparing for a hurricane, let's go to the shark scoop. If you are under a warning, be sure to have an evacuation plan. When evacuating, take important documents with you and shut off electric and gas at main panels. Make sure shelters are open and do not stay in a mobile or manufactured home. Make sure to notify family members that you have evacuated. When the storm hits, be sure to stay inside and away from windows. Even if the eye of the storm passes over you, do not go outside. The calm is usually brief. Let's go to Dallas for today's top story to learn more about hurricane safety. Lakeland Electric suggests that you avoid doing these things in the event of the debris falling. Do not attempt to trim any limbs near the power lines and do not try to pull out debris from near or under fallen power lines. Do not assume that a fallen power line has no electricity. After a hurricane, be sure to be aware of your surroundings. Just because the worst of the storm is over does not mean that there is no danger. Now that you know what to do before, during, and after a hurricane, you can keep yourself and everyone around you safe. I'm Jada. And I'm Madison. Have, Have a great day, Sharks!